is at Fenway. Let's hear from Aaron Boone about the latest loss in the manager's report brought to you by Geico. Aaron, how is Gary Sanchez and do you expect him to be available tomorrow? We'll see. We'll just see how he responds overnight. Um, you know, just back, started locking up, a, felt like he was cramping on him in the, you know, er, early innings. And then just by that, uh, by the fifth, when he came out, it just really kind of locked up on him. So uh, he's in there still getting treatment now. And I know it's had some improvement, but we'll just see where we're at overnight and tomorrow. Seemed like the Red Sox made Garrett Cole throw an awful lot of pitches. Is that just a product of a good offense, or did you think that Cole wasn't necessarily particularly sharp tonight? No, I thought Garrett was good. I thought his stuff was really good. I thought early on he had a really good curveball. I thought the fastball was excellent. He made some really big pitches because they did they did make him work. I mean, that's that's the one thing they did. They had some long at-bats against him. You know, Renfro had a long one that ends in a, you know, infield hit. So they were able to, even though they weren't able to break through on him, they were able to ding him. He, he bounced back with a really strong, quick inning in the fourth. Um, and then they strung together some at bats where, you know, and then Devers got a mistake down, I think, that that he he didn't miss. So, but overall, I thought I thought Garrett threw the ball well. It's just they did it enough of wearing him down and making it difficult and, and were eventually able to break through. You mentioned that fifth inning. I mean, he certainly didn't give up a, a lot of runs by any stretch of the imagination, but it did seem like he was missing location there. Did you feel like he was fatigued in the fifth? Yeah, I'm sure he was getting towards the end of the end of the line there. But no, I felt like he was sound, especially coming off a real efficient fourth inning. And then he goes out and gets Dahl back to start, you know, start the uh, start the fifth. Hernandez really stung a ball where I, I think it looked like he hung a slider in off the plate. Duran got a good pitch. I think it was two strike change up down. And then, and then he gets a big, makes a big pitch against Xander to, to get the punch out there. And, and then just, you know, I think overcorrected a little bit on the Devers pitch where, you know, he's trying to go up with the fastball missed up and out of the zone. And then, and then just kind of pulled one down and, and Rafi got him. We can go next to Kent Davidoff. Hey Aaron, uh, coming off last night's tough loss, how encouraged were you with that with that second inning rally, and then how disappointed when you you just couldn't capitalize? I yeah, think, yeah. I mean, you know, put some put some really good at bats on Eduardo to kind of put us set us up and put us in a good spot to really break through there, and then Valdez just you know kind of gave us fits, and you know he was kind of a little bit wild, a little effectively wild, where we were able to get some deep counts on him. But seemed like when he needed it on three two, he was winning those pitches and and had us, you know, I think a little, little off balance. We took some awkward swings against them, um, in some spots where we had a chance to, you know, build on some traffic or really break through. But, you know, he made some pitches when he had to, and that was that was the difference tonight for against us offensively and holding us down. Thank you. Uh, Clackish, please unmute. Hey Aaron, I was just going to follow up on Meredith's question, which uh, actually started to answer. I mean, you did not see any regression in Cole's stuff in the fifth inning. You seem to think he, he was still good and he was still sharp. Yeah, you know, he clearly made a couple of mistakes that made they made him pay on. Um, you know, the the uh, the one out double to start the rally. You know, where the slider looked like it hung there, um, and then I think just kind of overcorrected on the Devers, but. You know, at that point, he's a pitch pitch away from getting through it. You know, really like the the pitch he made on Bogarts. He made a lot of good pitches tonight when he needed to. And, and the, you know, the one that cost him, Devers got him with, you know. But there were a number of times throughout the night where he, he needed to double up and make a couple pitches in an inning where they were making it tough, and he was able to do it time and time again. Just Devers got him when uh, on a pitch down. And just overall, I mean, you had high hopes for this series and you know, you've had back-to-back -back disappointment. I mean, how frustrating is it? And just where do you think you stand overall in standing? Well, I mean, very frustrating. You know, we, we understand, you know, where we are in the season and the calendar and, um, you know, know how important it is that we play really well. And, um, you know, I don't think anything's changed there. I still feel like we're playing really well. Obviously lost a very tough one last night and weren't able to mount enough tonight or build on a lead there in the second inning. Um, so it's, it's frustrating, but we also have a four o'clock game tomorrow. That's really important. 